Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Tin Tuesday. Uh, this evening we've got two round four balance of the force matches for you. Uh, I'm joined this evening by my fellow Tin, Sam Cooper. Uh, so first up, we have got Ricky versus Matt. And by the looks of that, Matt is first player, so I shall switch the initiative over. Uh, two tins, some tin on tin action. Uh, sa sadly, propping up the lower end of the the ladder for the tournament, uh, but some scum v scum. I'll take Ricky scum, and that's only because I've got it loaded up in Yasby. Although, al although as a commentator, I know what everything does because that's my duty. Yeah. So, um. Ricky's bringing Fen with Fearless. We, we all know what Fen with Fearless does. Um, Ultra Rock. Um, so, start the engagement phase. He's uh, making people remove the green tokens. Jedi would hate that. Um, and then he's gone for two Space Tugs. Both Jakku Gun Runners. Uh, both with Afterburners. And one with Gamut Key. Um... At the start of the end phase, you may spend two charges to choose a ship at range 0 to 1 or with one or more circular tokens. During the end phase, circular tokens are not removed from that ship. So a nifty little way of keeping... Well, I was thinking focuses or evades, but I suppose if someone takes... Disarms. That's, uh... Yeah, that's... That's spicily interesting. If that ship is limited or has the cutthroat upgrade, you may remove one of your orange or red tokens, or recover one non-recurring charge on your ship card or one of your equipped upgrade cards. So here it, it either removes a red or orange token, or you can get a bomb back or a threat tracer back. But um, in this list only twice because he's only got two other friends. For the second fire spray, we've got Krasix Trellix. Uh, and he's the uh, fire spray who can fire missiles out of his bum. And he's also running Cutthroat with concussion missiles, proton bombs, Greedo Gunner, and the sla and the Separatist Slave 1 title. And I, yes, I know it is Separatist and Scum, but the Django Slave 1 title. So that's uh, when you're performing a front attack, uh, if you're in the defender's rear arc, you can change a hit to a crit. I'm going to assume that that is unaffected by his pilot ability because I don't think that's a special attack. Ah, uh, yeah. Let me just have. That's, let me. My, have my assumption is that is that that's it, it's not a special attack, so you you don't get to do it out of your bum. That's what I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. I have a feeling that's how it just works. Flip the cut, perform special attacks from your bum. Yeah, when you perform it. Yeah. As best as I can tell, it's not a special attack, is it? You're still performing your primary yeah. attack. Well, it's, not, it's, not, it's just a front arc attack. Right, yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see. And then finally, Captain Seavor. Uh, he is the Jam Master. And he's got Mark Sable Closure, so when he goes over asteroids, uh, he's going to be dishing out strains to enemies. And he's got Precision Ion Engines. Uh, before you would execute a speed 1 to 3k turn, you can spend one charge to do it as a sloop instead. Now, isn't that interesting? Uh, and, you could, and you can choose to do either side sloop as well, which is quite fun. You don't have to, you don't have to preset your sloop. Um, which could be interesting, because that will let you dodge uh, blockers uh, in the case of the Jakku Unrunners quite nicely. But you know, no auto blasters with Crassus. He's only got the concussion missiles that he's going to be firing uh, out of his buttocks. Uh, well, and the second part of Crassus's ability is while you perform a special attack, you can reroll one attack dice, which is quite nice. 
Yeah. So again, two different takes on the uh, restrictions. One going for the mid-range initiatives and one splitting. This is going to be interesting. I feel like... The... If... If Ricky can time his punch right, the Jakku Gunrunners combined with the, the Fang Fighters are going to be able to seriously hurt uh, these Fire Sprays, but everything on Ricky's is fragile, whereas the Fire Sprays can take a hit. And it looks like they're off, despite not... Does indeed. I will just get back and do this for them. Yes, I mean, if if Ricky can get one of the fire sprays somewhere in the center of the the play area and get both gun runners, you know, dropping a token uh, tractor on it. Well, he only needs one if he can get in the bullseye. Well, that's true. I suppose medium base, it's easier to to get in that bullseye. I do like the um the Mark Sable closure on the the uh, minor guild ties. It's an interesting yeah. over the bets. combo. I, Betting, I, yeah, I know. No, I I can see Chris, but you have to give them like a little bit of time because we're at the start of the new month. You'll all have no points at the moment, so I was just going to get a couple of minutes so that you guys banked up some points. Even if it's only five. Five is more than enough. No, oh, it's fine. I clicked on clicked on start bet and it went something went wrong, so clearly Streamlabs agrees with me. <laughs> okay. We'll go with that. There we go. We have some <laughs> betting open. So interestingly, Crassus is going like straight down the middle of the board. Uh and with this rock placement, like I feel like Captain Seavor's fine, uh, but I'm not so sure that Crassus wants to be here too much. We'll see where he plans on going in the next turn, and I don't think the Jakku Gunrunners can do anything about it, so he has some time. You can see Old T and Fenrau taking locks onto rocks, uh, I guess they're trying to mitigate some of the jam that's coming their way from the Captain Seavor. Um, the records of both players, I believe they're both nil and... Th no, one and two at the moment. Let me just double check that. The overlay is different to the board. What, what, what? Oh, I got on the wrong side. Okay. Uh, where am I going? Ricky is currently nil and three, and so is Matt. It's fine. Technically, I don't think anyone has bet yet because it was playing silly. So if you all want to bet, you can all bet now on the right side. Because according to that, no bet has been. You also all may not have any points. See? <laughs> no, no points. My hard earned points. Yeah, yeah, your hard earned points have, have gone. Let's see if that works. Yeah, Chris, starting points is harder than you think it is because either I have to go through and adjust every single person's that have watched for a month and I do not have time for that or you guys all get deleted and then crop up once you start viewing it again. All right. Chris has gained 100 points in between doing it before and doing it Oh, now. that because I've just gifted everyone that's watching 100 points. Oh, wow.
But I can't do that until people are watching, basically. Because I don't have time to go through. All right, so uh, Crassus is looking to home in on the Fen, it looks like. Because he's banking into the gap between those asteroids. Captain Zeevil's taking a hard turn, so they're avoiding the Gunrunners and old T for now. What's Emon doing? Three bank from Emon. Yeah, sorry guys, I know a couple of you don't have points yet. It takes a while for it to actually show up on the the cloud bot. Uh, old T goes forward, and I honestly, I feel like old T can quite happily boost focus here, get a free shot into a fire spray. Yeah, I think so. I mean, yep, there's the boost and the focus. So shots are going to start getting fired. Old, uh, good old Fenrau taking the, uh, the head to head. Which means I will close the limited amount of betting. But it means you guys will all manage to store up a load of points for... For round two. For round two. I'm pretty sure anyone who's bet won't actually win more than you'll you'll make, so... Unless you're me, because I think I'm the only person who's bet on the left. Unless you're, I mean, you've got a habit of doing that. And I will keep an eye on people... And Fenrau's barrel rolled and linked it to focus, trying to avoid as much of a shot as he can, as possible. But there will be shooting, so Fenrau into Emon, range three. You know what? It's quite nice seeing fire sprays that don't have Sam. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Oh, just straight natties. Good old fan. How did we come up with the stream name? Uh, which bit of the stream name? Just specifically the Tin Tuesdays, or ah, uh, I see. Yeah, it's our um, it's our X Wing group. So that looked like one through. One damage onto Emon Azamine. I hear he has a mean streak. Oh, Sam, not the puns. What? <clears throat> what? That was a good one. Why, Why is old T just checking his bullseye arc? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Anyway, we've got range 2 into Krasix, or range 3 into C4. I wonder what old T's going to take. Krasix, it looks like. A good old 3 on 2. Uh, Let's spend blank, it. blank focus. You may as well spend it. Make the fire spray have a result. Yep, there we go. And the fire spray has results. Easy peasy. Now over to Matt. And he does have range three into Fan Rao. Oh, we've lost ten stream cam. Oh, that's just my dodgy laptop. That just means you're gonna have to go into the chat for for anything. <laughs> for 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 in interceding on the rules. Oh, Adam, Adam, we can't have that. Got to see the the top end of the ta table playing. Oh, pinches a. Oh, sneaky, sneaky <laughs> gun runner having a shot. Do you uh, do you get the feeling that if that was real life, that'd be a that'd be a sweep through? I don't know. I, I think it, I, I'm looking. I'm looking at. I think I think he'd definitely have clipped. 
One hit. Fires by rolling four dice. And evades. Yes. Now, don't you wish you Jedi could do that? <sighs> Starting on this early, are we tonight, Sam? What? I've got to get my digs in sometime. <laughs> I mean, you spend 40 hours a week at work doing it. As if I see you for 40 hours a week. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay, that's not true. I would definitely recommend playing on TTS. I was a little, um, I was a little dubious about it. And okay, yeah, it's not the same as real life, but it's a good way of keeping up the. It's the a practice. pretty good facsimile of it. It's it's also a good. It's a nice, easy way of just practicing lists. It's much easier just to get a quick game practice. If it goes bad, especially if you're playing against someone you know, if it goes badly, you just concede after 20 minutes and play a different one. It's definitely not a tool I'll be getting rid of once in uh, real life starts up again. Yeah. So next turn's going to be an interesting one. Uh, because I feel like next turn is the turn that Fen Rao is going to get into his happy space. Yeah. Uh, range one of anything. And old T's looking. Oh, I'm not sure actually what old T's like. Emon, the bomb, the bomb dropper. I mean, I know Crassix has a bomb. Like it feels like the fire sprays are sort of the wrong way around for what um, Matt unfortunately wants to go for here. Uh, I don't think the Jakku gun runner is going to be tracturing anyone this turn. Yeah, the angle, isn't it? So that's the. It's an odd one. <laughs> Like, I can see Seavor just turning in and trying to catch old T with a jam. Yeah. I just wonder whether you... Much as Fen likes being in range one, do you try and gun both fire sprays in? in get four dice on him from each. And try and plink I mean, them through. It's, yeah, it's, it's Be worth a shot. Because old T's going to find it hard to follow that. The gun runners can't get near that. And if nothing it's... else, Krasix can fire a concussion missile out his bum at old T if you go fast enough. Yeah. And uh, you then have the option of going round that top asteroid next turn reasonably free of anyone just turning in straight away. See Seavor slooping to the right. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. All right, uh, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check that. It's, yeah, uh, that's uh, one Greedo trigger missed so far. Let's see how many we get up to. Oh, I can, oh yeah, it's cool. Cause your opponent can use Greedo if you yep. don't. I mean, it didn't matter because he evaded the hit, but... All right, so a turn left from the Jakku Gunrunner, just hiding behind that rock. Well, I'm wondering if he's barrel rolled to because he thinks Fen's going to turn in. Um, I know it's action to give the tractor. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not that. Two bank from the other Jakku gun runner. He's just going to take his focus. Now, what is. Okay, one straight from Krasix. Okay, he leaves his options. Open if fence turned in, it's a a little bit of a box setting up there. And takes a target lock onto Fen, so he's hoping to fire a concussion missile. I'm guessing by that, ideally. One hard from Captain Seavor, and he's barrel rolling to the left. Okay, yeah, I like that. If Old Terox like banked or turned in to come after Krasix, Seavor gets a free shot. Emon's done up one bank. All right. That looks like he's hoping for a block. I mean, actually, no. He, if he boosts, he's hoping for a block. And I maybe would have boosted there. Yeah. I got a feeling a two bank might just sneak in that. Yeah. That's what I, I think I think if Emon boosts, you block Fen, and Emon can still shoot at the, the gun runner or T. Yeah. All 
Anyway, Old Tarok jars a bank in, and he's not in the greatest spot, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, and now he's in a better spot. Nice and simple. Playing safe with fire sprays. E Crassus probably isn't going to shoot you, because he, he's he's gunning to take out Fen. Uh, Fen does a free straight, and uh, if he boosts... Does that, I mean, I guess boost straight will dodge one shot at the very least. Do you? I think a boost right would still dodge the shot while giving you R. Yeah. But do you boost left to get... Well, I suppose you want closer... Right. So the boost right is not going to get you range one, is it? It might, actually. I just have a funny feeling you'll get shot. Yeah, I think I just think you'll get shot by Emon again. Yeah. Ooh, has that snuck him into the back? Yeah, ooh, I think Emon might have a shot, and... See, I didn't think this it is... would, but... Hold on. Concordia face-off. Yeah, so Concordia face-off isn't online for Red's shot, for Emon's shot, because he's not in Emon's front arc. Yeah. So this is a little bit more dangerous for Fen. But he does have range 1 onto Krasix. Yep, so Fen shooting classics. I feel like, uh, all right, here we'll uh, see. Oh, that's I'm gonna make him tempted to use the focus. I mean, I think well, that's I dangerous. Think, oh, I still think you probably do it. Oh, but two shots. Yeah, it's. <sighs> Well, right, he's going right. for the damage. And does he remember Greedo? He does not. It is... a May. Is that all five through? Yeah, cause it took a... Yep, so yeah, the Krasics took a giant hammering. Uh, that's half. Uh, yep. So this is all going to be dependent on whether Amon actually has the shot on Fen, because this is going to be the big, the money shot, because there's no Concordia. Yeah. So yes, it's range one of Fen. Fen is rolling four dice. Uh, but isn't going to get the free mod. Yeah, spend it. Yeah, there's three. So Ricky just needs natties here. So, just the one. So that's half. Yep. Christ, you have to. You'll have to. Tell me on the points of this one. Is half of Fen more than half of Krasix? No, Krasix is 80. Fen is okay. 71. Okay. But now we found out uh, about this one. We've got a, another range one shot. This time Concordia Faceoff is online, so if Fen is Fen, then I'm sure nothing will happen. Spends the lock. Oh, that's a tough one. Only roll. two. And Fen is Fen is Fen. Of course, Fen is Fen. Who Concordia? Hey, he remembered. Hey, Matt remembered his Greedo trigger. <laughs> He's now looking at the second line of text and being like, oh yeah. Something that Ricky needs to remember. I'm assuming it's a May, not a. Yeah, it's a May. And then Captain Seavor, the secret ace, has a shot into a Jakku gun runner. So, the interesting thing here is that um, next turn, we are potentially looking at two tracted fire sprays. 
Actually, no, maybe not two. Uh, one tracted fire straight, because the uh, the green Jakku gun runner just does like two or three straight, maybe even yeah. I think I think a straight lines up the bullseye, and you can track to Emon quite easily. Uh, I hope Matt will think about that because obviously, if he does a a three right or something, and is that is barrel rolled to the right before that? There's a no, I don't think that can happen because the medium base can't barrel roll past Fen. Can it not? I thought I assumed. No, I don't, I, don't, can... I don't think you can. Okay, so it'll be a boost if there's any movement at all. Yeah. So the the main downside of that is just going to be a uh, the the loss of agility over. Yeah. So it looks like it's going into crasses. I mean, it makes sense. Just keep piling the damage into the fire spray. One crit. Goes through. No, oh, obstructed. Rolls an extra dice. All right, they're rolling the wall again. So nothing. And then the last gun runner, range three obstructed, but with a focus. So good odds on getting some results. Hey, two hits. One of eight. So another damage through onto the fire spray. And I think in all regard, this has been a pretty good trade of ter trade. Oh, definitely. The scary bit is that Fen is quite close to getting killed, and that's scary, but Crassus it is not looking good. So do you do you drop? I feel like Crassix drops a proton bomb and cuts off it going in between those two rocks. Does Aemon and... drop one with a three hard to his right towards Fen to cut off Fen? Yeah, I think going around that, and it has to be a concussion bomb because obviously seismics won't do anything in that area. Uh, can you do banks? You can't do the banks, and I don't. F you could. So if, if Karasix could drop a proton bomb, and then Emon could pitch a seismic charge three straight back to try and to get that asteroid back there. And that is a decent wall of bomb damage. For both, the... for both Fen and Ulti as yeah. well. Considering. It's all twos for the blues on fangs, isn't it, if you're not going straight? Yeah. So any of the twos is going to land Fen somewhere near that asteroid. Good evening, John. Uh, Mr... An interesting opening engagement between Ricky yeah. and Matt. Fen took a nasty shot into Crassix, but took a bit of damage in return. Um, just debating possible bombs from the fire sprays, because both of them are loaded with bombs. And one of them's Emon, so who knows where his bomb is going. It looks like some dials are getting set. You can see Ricky's changing the maneuvers for his gun runners over and over again, so it looks like there's a bit of indecision. Uh So, uh, do we have any mods again? 
No, they mean the moderators. I've already uh, blocked it. <laughs> Namely, why my chat says I've got now four messages hidden from block user. Ah. Can I, very specifically... Right. Well, yeah, I'd mod someone so we can ban him. If what? Mo I would mod someone so we can ban him from the chat because everyone else is seeing. Hang on. Oh, it's so doing something stupid. So it should be block everyone else what is seeing all the yeah the 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 text because if if you block him that's just you not seeing his thing but everyone else will be seeing it so uh, if you want okay. someone or, or ban him from or ban him from the chat because if you're the right, how do I ban him from the chat um, oh, I'm gonna need to go on to thing just keep an eye on the game for me for a second uh well, anyway. If you just keep your eyes away from the chat for a moment whilst we sort this random stuff out. I'm sure we've got interesting things happening. Uh, we appear to be in the system phase and bombs are being dropped. Seismic from uh, Emonazamine dropping a straight three backwards. So he's aiming to clip uh, this to in... asteroid directly behind him. Twitch, don't I? So he's aiming to clip uh, this to in... asteroid directly behind him. Uh, and that'll probably catch. When did Fen Rao get a second stress? Did I miss that? Oh, wait, hold on. No, no, I don't. I don't know when Fen Rao got a second stress. Oh, well, moving on. Uh, and yeah, it looks like a proton bomb from Crassic Strelix. There we go. Got a nice little coverage of bombs here. Now, hopefully, Matt moves his fire sprays out of range of his own bombs. Uh, Jakku Gunrunner does a two straight, and I'm guessing is going to pile a bunch of tractor tokens. Yep, range one in the bullseye. Emon's getting tracted. I think I've got it. So he boosted Emon. Uh, which could ruin Crassus' move, actually. Uh, if Matt wasn't expecting the fire spray to be that far ahead. Uh, it's still coming up, isn't it? Uh, okay, so that didn't work. Despite the fact it says it's blocked. Um, how do I mod him? <sighs> Doesn't help that I can't see what he's saying either. Oh, Krasik's turned in and bumped into the Jakku Gunrunner. So he's eating his own bomb, which is a little unfortunate. Right, so, uh, Sam, you can see the chat, can't you? Yeah. Are they still coming up? Hold on, I'll unblock him. Oh, okay. I can't see anything. Okay. Could not unblock, lol. Okay, that's interesting. Network, okay, my... Just decided that... 
I'm not allowed to do anything in this, apparently. Hold on. Right, so is it just crass eating the proton by the looks of it? Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. And it's a crit loose stabilizer. Oh, crass Trellix, you are in a sad, sad, unhappy place because I can imagine that you are getting uh, tracted onto that rock next turn as well. Sam, what's your username on this? Scooper. Should be Scooper396. Why do you not come? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ow. Hey, good news, Sam. You're a moderator. Uh oh. Now I have the power. All right, looks like we are uh, into the shooting. Emon has a shot into a Jakku Gunrunner. He is quite a way out, thanks to that 4K and a boost. Trying to... My, my phone is apparently not liking Twitch at the minute, which is why mine's breaking. And that shot does not appear to have done a whole lot. Now we're into Crassics. Take the range two into Fen, I think he should. Yeah. And we've got nice two hits and an eyeball. Fen spends his focus to survive. Captain Seavor taking a range one shot into a Chiku gun runner. Passing a jam token off to the Jakku gun runner to get rid of the focus. Rerolling because it came outside the box. And I imagine Spencer's focus for two. Alright, Chiku Gunnera shooting into Krasics, who's not looking too good at this minute. A little sad about all these missiles that are still around. Uh, two hits. One evade. So that puts the uh, fire spray onto two hull at the minute. So if what I'm thinking next turn is going to happen, uh, I will be... I think that fire spray is going to be in a spot of bother. Barrel roll to the left, per chance. I think I think if the uh, the green Jakku gunner runner just moves out of the way, the blue one can come in and just boost him onto that rock. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he'll probably still have to go through it again. I right, see. So yeah, there's me thinking the barrel roll to the left and back, but. 
depends where he wants his um, fangs to go. His chats are still there. All right. Spam some nice messages in the chat, guys, then it'll all disappear. What was his username? Bloody hell. Blocking was a mistake. <laughs> uh, you can click on it if you're a mod. Yeah, but I can't. I, I'm. Oh, it was not working on my phone, so I and went into the PC. It's, it's not something I'm going to read out over yeah. the air. Well, I'll have a more of a play around with this if you keep an eye on the, <laughs> <laughs> the game because I can't do both of them. Uh, we're into the next set of moves. Uh, like, I don't have much hope for Krasics being around for a few more turns, uh, unfortunately. That loose stabilizer he did to himself is going to really hurt. Because now he has to go straight. Realistically, but straight is bad. Yeah! Um, Ryan, thanks for the subscription, man. It looks like there's lots of working out here. So, whilst it's not looking too great for uh, Matt Scum, like, it's not the be-all end-all. Uh, if Fenrao takes an unlucky shot, he can go down quite quickly. Um, and the Gunrunners will... Like, when fire starts getting put into them, they'll go down relatively soon as well. The blue one's taken two damage already. Uh, just in case you haven't caught that one. <laughs> uh, what, the runner? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Two on the runner. I think I got all the damage. It was just the um, the loose stabiliser from the... Yeah, so Jakku Gunrunner uh, does a three bank. I'm hoping for an afterburners, Ricky. Don't disappoint me. He's hovering over it. Yeah, afterburners, it. probably pile another couple of drag tokens on. Just to ruin uh but does the, Matt's plans. Does the one forward take it to the right and does the boost left swing it too far around? Possibly, but I feel you still go for it. Oh, I think Chris may have just noticed he's been modded. Or made a moderator, should I say. Any tractors on crashes? None so far. Yeah, it's a little too far around, but I feel like you still um, put tractors on him because you have Gamut Key. Uh, and whilst that tractor token doesn't do anything yet, next turn it might, and next turn might be the worst time for it if the blue Jakku gun runner still lives around and is at range one, zero to one of red. Uh, anyway, um, Crassus Trellix. Uh, yeah, I guess the barrel roll is the sensible choice, considering I guess there was no way to not block your own the own boost here. So I think uh, Crassus is going over that asteroid. Because I think a, a barrel roll certainly puts you on it, and backwards might even put it so that you go over it when you move as well. Was that backwards or was that? That wasn't backwards. Although I'm not, I'm not sure. Looking at that backwards would have got you over the the nubs behind. But I mean, either way, he's now on a rock. Time to roll that damage. Okay, what have we got for Crassus Trellix on the rock? Nothing. Meta. I 
I guess the unfortunate thing about all these uh, tractor moves is that uh, it doesn't seem like the fire sprays are in the greatest position to be capitalizing on the tractor targets at the minute. Focus from Seavor. He's just chasing down Mr. Blue. Krasix flies three straight. Fix that loose stabilizer, young man. Oh, see, I was wondering about the barrel roll to take you out of Seavor's arc. But what? He's on the same team as Seavor. Oh, yeah, of course he is. My bad. I swear I know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, oh, sorry, I was a little distracted. It's <laughs> alright, I was just very confused. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Oh, One straight from Emon, so he's bumping with green. Which I, probably, I don't think he could uh, do I don't mines. fancy the Jakku Gunrunner Blue's chances at life. Old T did uh, hard three. And boost zip. Might have a long range shot, I don't know. And Fen Banks removes that stress. Still don't know how we got too stressed, but I guess it's one of the mysteries of this game. And then Fen boosts away. That looked like a misclick. What's that ping? He, yeah, he wanted to do the other one. Just... It's an undo. Oh, no, he's, he's accepting it. Okay, well, uh, ulti, range three at Captain Seavor. Captain Seavor's ability is really good. Like, that's a good ability. Uh, no token to jam off, so he's not going to use the ability anyway. But we got three onto four. <laughs> Single crit from Ulti. And easy evades. In Squadron Logic, barrel roll out of a friendly arc. Yep, that's the sort of thing we pride ourselves on. Uh, so that was uh, likely Ricky's only shot. Now we've got the fire sprays bringing the pain. Let's see what they can do. So range three shots into the blue gun runner. Three on three, no mods for either side. I feel like on average this should just plink a damage three onto the gun runner. There's one damage. And there's one evade, so nicely rolling. And then it looks like we got Seavor or Crassus for these juicy range one shots. Yep, range one into blue. 4v2. Let's yeah. see what he can do. I get higher and higher pitch. Two hits. I'd just like to point out to Chris that the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. <laughs> oh, he's spending uh, Greedo to change the head to a crit. So it looks like the blue gunrunner is taking a crit. Not really much you can do about that. Uh oh, are they? Oh, they are. They are applying the slave one interaction, or something. I don't know. They're picking things. Whatever. Chiku gunner takes a crit. The crit is a fuel leak. Okay, so that's reasonably relevant for once. 
I don't I don't know if they did Greedo or they pinged Slave One for some reason, but I'm not. Uh, either way, Hit Crit was fired. Uh, then we got Captain Seaboard, range one, uh, into the Gunrunner for the last shot of this turn. For sure, he might choose to take the range three obstructed. Okay, that's that's fair. He might. <laughs> It's the sort of thing I'd do. So, I feel like Matt actually really does need to kill this gunrunner whilst he has the chance, whilst the fangs aren't involved. Yeah. Because when the fangs come back, uh, things are going to start dying. So there's two hits into... Oh, but he's got focus for three... So this means needs natties. Needs natties, um, which he isn't going to get. The gun runner is dead. So that is blue gun runner down and out for the count. Yeah, so this uh, I feel like this puts Matt in a pretty decent position. There's like he's only contending with a single gun runner at the minute. Uh, old T's coming back in, and Fen is quite delayed on his uh, re his reengage. I, I do think that Ricky misclicked his boost direction. Yeah, because Fen they went Fen's they went with it. Yeah. So... Fen's not getting back in this this turn. But yeah. The gun runner isn't going to line up a bullseye. Although, saying that, actually... You say that, doesn't he have a reverse on the gun runner? Oh, I don't know. Oh, wait, no, I he's mean, red. He, yeah. won't be able, isn't he won't be able to do the action, no, right? but I'm just thinking, what he does have is afterburners. Do they have a three hard? That is a question I cannot answer. They do not have a three hard. That's a shame. Because a three hard boost would have been nice. But no. I'm going to join the S in the chat because Chris is just getting a bit bitter. Yeah, the problem is that uh, you can't boost, uh, you can't use afterburners off a two. Uh, so the two hard wouldn't help. <laughs> no, I, good, good to know. Jeez, man, do you even X Wing? Sam, could you clear those dice? Cause I yes. I, I don't have a secondary one to be able to do it. I mean, I could honestly see the green gun runner just like reversing to the right and just trying to go for another quick block on Emon. Yeah. I guess, so is old T coming in fast? That's the question. I mean... <sighs> and if he does, I'm not sure I like it. Like, no, I feel it's... like... Sort of comes back to the the weird direction Fenrir is facing. Yeah, max speed. That's okay. So there's the turn to the left, and he just focuses. Makes sense. If he gets a sneaky shot into Crassics, he's doing pretty good. 
Seavor turns in to have a, to face down the uh, Fang Fighter. Uh, Crassix says, "Hello, Gunrunner. I am your nemesis." And takes a target lock, Ooh. locking the Gunrunner. So this could go poorly for Crassix here. Yeah, I'm not. He wanders a two straight, and I'm assuming just focuses. Yeah, he focuses. I'm so good. So what's old T doing? He is doing a two straight. So that's obviously range one from from Seavor and everything's on. No, okay. And then boosts, and I'm assuming links it to a focus. And I think he might have dodged Seavor's arc. Maybe. It's going to be close. It'll be very close. Bet he's going to bring up the arc in a second. And hey, Krasix did fix the loose stabilizer last turn, uh, Crispy. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's me. Uh, a talent roll from Fen that is a little close to I know. I, I was looking at that going, I really wish I could... Zoom in. Uh, so that's going to give him a stress. And uh, Emon's going to lose his focus. Because old T has a really fun ability where he just remove yeah, You choose an enemy ship and it removes all green tokens. Like that focus token that uh, okay. Emon has. So, Assuming they remember the trigger. I mean, they've both got hands hovering over the card. So hopefully. Um, it's not lost to me that I feel like Emon would have been better off taking the target log onto T, and Krasix is going to do better with a focus here. But that's a bit of a, like hindsight speaking, if anything. Uh, old T shoots into Emon as a mean. We've got a good old four dice shot from a Fang Fighter. Ricky's rolling these rolls that just like really want you to spend focus tokens, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, I think you still think, spend it. I think if you, you think do. if you think you've dodged Seavor's arc, you spend it here. Because you, you've got a Concordia. I think you spend it. Yeah, if you think you've dodged Seavor's arc, you spend it because Seavor is like the mini threat. I guess. Well, actually, no, he's not really, because he, unlike the fire sprays, he, you'll have Concordia whether Seavor sees you or not. But I think you just need to put damage in. Start hurting him. Oh. He's not spending it. And hmm. yeah, it's evaded. Okay, so yeah, no, I, I think I would I would have gone for that, but well, there it is what it is. Emon shooting into old Terok doesn't quite have the gun runner in arc. Uh, we have four versus three. No mods on the fire spray side. Not that he needs it. He has hit hit crit. Uh, and old T is now wishing he'd spent that focus on the attack because he just concordiaed <laughs> uh, and evade. Okay, Crassus has a gunrunner in arc. Well, you called it when you said the locks of the focus were the wrong way around. <laughs> All right, I'm guessing he's going to spend his lock here. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Greedo, uh, greedo, greedo, greedo. What's he rerun? Uh, I think yeah, he's trying to. I think he was trying to. Trying to it. find the right one. It's number eight. eight. Greedo, greedo. There we go. Three crits. Uh, basically nothing out of green. Oh, do you risk it? 
and go for the for the three dice focused shot. He doesn't risk it. Ricky's playing defensive. Yeah, because what happens if you've got like I don't know, hole breach direct hit? You die, so... but like that was panic pilot. So we probably aren't seeing any tractors for the rest of this game. Wounded pilot. Uh, so yeah, odds are this gun runner isn't doing many actions, but this shot could seal the deal for him living on in infamy. Because if he shoots Krasix, oh, he does oh, have all T. Oh, that's so close. Oh, that is so close. Okay, so now keeping the focus makes a bit more sense. If you if you if you didn't think you were out of Siebel's arc, this is pretty good for a backup. So, oh, I just realised something. But that focus makes no difference. If Matt remembers his Siebel pilot ability, he can just take away Tarok's focus right now. But Concordia is a powerful ability. Yeah, actually, no, in hindsight, I actually think spending the focus on the attack is the correct choice. Um, because against Seavor, if he remembers his trigger properly, he doesn't have the focus. How is Seavor still alive? Because no one has shot him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's the crux of it, isn't it? Or nobody successfully shot him. Jakugan runner, range one into Krasix. This is a big one because Krasix is on two hull. And there's a hit crit. So, really want some paint here. And there is no paint. There is, just the wrong type. It's not the correct paint. So, Krasix Trellix is dead. And a panic pilot on the way out. But funnily, Ricky is only leading by five. Yeah, and it's not like... I feel like Ricky's has the advantage here, uh, just because Seavor kind of is a bit of an irrelevant character, um, and the gun runner's not doing great, and Emon can still do this. Just the problem he has is that Fen is coming back in, and all, all I see happening from Fen facing Emon is Emon taking, like, five damage. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but the... Like, but... per shot. Emon's full health, do you do that in the hope you you do two back to Fen? Maybe. I guess it, it all depends on whether you can get one of the Fang fighters at a time, because if both of them are shooting at you, I just don't really see you surviving. Hey, that's a good point. Uh, is Cutthroat a May? Uh, I'm assuming so. You know what? I have absolutely no idea. I'm guessing so. Let me have a quick look. Uh, cutthroat is a May, uh, and Emon can't actually use it. <laughs> is he stressed? No, because he ha he isn't stressed, isn't jammed, isn't tracted, and hasn't used any of his charges. Wait, no, he rec no he recovered a seismic. Has he done it? Has he? Yeah, he's recovered a seismic. Either that, or he never flipped it in the first place. <laughs> I don't know which, I'm just going to assume he's a he's an excellent player and he spent it and then recovered it using Cutthroat. John thinks Fen's just gonna one shot Seville. I mean, I mean yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Emon drops a concussion bomb here. Just a one straight behind you. 
try and force it. Because like, if Alt T's banking or turning to the right, that's probably good for you because you get a turn out of Alt T. Overlay has green jacket yeah. on. One damage done. Yes, it should be more. It should be yeah, two it should damage be two. done. Sorry. Well, they, they're crits as well, aren't they? Uh, one was a panic pilot, so that's not really a crit anymore, and the other is a wounded pilot. Wounded pilot. Did I just put them on the wrong one? Might be what it was. Looks like they are discussing. 14 minutes left, so this has been quite a slow game. Uh, you're just saying that because you're used to playing me, Sam, where we just throw things at each other until the <laughs> dice run out. I mean, I'm pretty sure they just thrown things at each other until the dice run out. <laughs> yeah, here comes a bomb. A concussion bomb out of Iwan Azamine. You know, I'm I'm either predicting Matt amazingly or he's listening to me say things. Oh, he drops it way back. Interesting. I don't think he's dropped it yet, has he? I think he's... Ah, uh, but he's going to... Okay, okay, so he's thinking the Jakku Gunrunner is doing a small move to like try and relieve stress. That's fair. Because if you can just slip a damage on, like, why not, right? Uh, but it has not done a small move. It's going to two bank, but mm, no, that's not going to be cool. Yeah, it? I think that's out. All right, now we must remember that Jakku took, no, Jakku took two. He did roll and evade. Or he spent he spent he sp he rolled a focus and a blank, and then um, he spent he spent his focus to get an evade. Uh, woo! Okay, Sevor turns in, bumps into T. Emon moves and bumps into T. Everyone loves the old T. Uh, what's old T? T? Yeah, just says nope. Uh, clears his stress. And I feel like you just focus here. Like it it's shouldn't mean anything because Sevor will just strip it. You just boost out of arc then. Yeah. There we go. And you're still out of arc on Emon. Everything's happy. And you can turn in around turn in next turn uh with Fenrao and start mauling Emon as a mean. Three straight from Fen. Yeah, that's nice and conservative. Okay, Fen boosts and links it to a focus. Yeah, okay. That's still trying to get shots, aren't you? It's Bomb misses everyone. That's fine. What we do have to remember is that Emon's dropping another bomb next turn, whether he wants to or not. So that could be a little scary. Range two at Captain Seavor. Oh, I think you took. Yeah, I think you take that, don't you? Same. It's, it's the it's the same, same dice. I guess it's. It's easier to get points. True. But Seavor will strip your focus. That's the thing here. He can just spend his charge. He's because Sevor is not in the enemy's bullseye, so he can spend his charge to get rid of that focus token. If they remember. Yep, if he remembers. All right, nothing happens. One hit, one evade. And we've got Fenrao at range 3 from Emon as a mean. So we've got 3 versus 4. Defensive focus modding. Yeah. Matt needs to remember his Seavor trigger. I mean, luckily it doesn't matter because he's also not rolling too well on the hits. But like, if this was a good round, 
and Fen didn't have a focus. Yeah, okay, and again. He, he rolls enough this time, but remember the trigger. And then that is it for the shooting this round. So if they're quick, maybe two more rounds. Yeah. And five points in it. All right, now, Matt needs to remember that Emon is pitching a bomb behind him somewhere. So wherever Seavor goes... Yeah, that's possible, actually. He, he might have shot at Emon, and because nothing happened, I've no idea. It didn't actually... I don't think they pinged either way. So, I guess if I'm Matt here, depending on what I want to do with Captain Seavor, I'm pitching the bomb as far out as I can just to make sure it doesn't do anything to me, rather than aiming to hit anyone uh, on the enemy team here. So, like, a three hard, maybe the Jakku Gunrunner does something silly. Um, and I guess what do you do? Like, maybe I... you go fast. Yeah. I say, geez, Ryan, stop spamming caps. Wow. Alright, one bank from the Jakku. Clears his final stress. Two bank, I think. Is it two bank? Oh yeah, two bank from the Jakku. Focus. And then I will ping the wounded pilot. None of them noticed. Ooh, that's a nice little 3k. Yeah, none of them yeah. noticed my ping. We'll ping them again, because it's a... Uh... Ah, it... uh, has he, um... He used his, um... <laughs> precision yeah, ions to do the sloop. He's used his precision ions to do a sloop instead of a cater, and that's quite nice. Yeah, I like that. Alright, it looks like they're rolling for the wounded pilot, and nothing happened. Excellent. So, Seavor's there. He's At least he gets a shot at the Jakku Gunrunner this turn. Like, better than nothing. Uh, where is Emon Azamine going? Too hard. Oh, nice. Okay, going for... Uh, sort of playing for another turn because next turn his final concussion bomb looks like it's going to be doing something juicy and maybe he can kill the Jakku Gunrunner yes. just snag some easy points uh, yeah, focus I like don't think old T can get into range 1 of you so I won't be stripping it this is a good way to get focus fire onto the um, ship actually I don't think you need to stress yourself with Alt. I think you can just focus here. You've you've got the shot. It looks like it's range. Maybe you want a barrel roll to make sure it's range two, actually. Well, he's looking at the boost, and he's just checking what Fen's doing. So I'm assuming Fen's coming in that way. All right, he's barrel rolling in. I'm guessing link. Yeah, linking it to a focus. Too straight. I mean, this has to be a boost focus, right? Yeah. I'm going to assume that the uh, ion token that Tarok has taken is meant to be a stress. <laughs> yeah. Just... <laughs> 
to swap that over for them. Quickly nick it and throw it away. There we go, just silently that they all saw. There we go, here's the boost from Fen Rao into a focus. We have the Fen Hammer coming in this turn. Fearless and focus. The bomb does nothing, but the bot, if, if there's another turn, I'm not sure there is um, gonna be, the last concussion bomb could like be brutal here. Ah, uh, do you drop that? Uh, I suppose Seismic won't catch it if you drop a 1, will it? Well, there's, there's definitely going to be another turn. So that's Concordia changes the blank to a hit, and Focus to change the... I wonder if he's thinking about keeping... By the... Concordia, I mean Fearless. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't Wait, you have no, to be does Fearless work it? No, it no. needs to be in the front, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that double evade? So just a shield. Oh, that's that's not the results that you want to see there. Yeah, again, I would have spent that focus. I think I would have, because he's not likely to range one out the back into... All right, so we've got old T uh, doing hit hit crit into Emon, and he can spend his focus token to just change that to two. I probably would. You stop the crit going yeah. through. You stop. That 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 keeps you up above half. Yeah. And that's important there. Being so, above half. I, I don't think the gun runner's got arc on. No, I don't think he has either. So if he can get half points, which is one damage through on that gun runner, that should give him the win. Unless they get another. It depends where he goes. I feel like you go for the the gun runner here. Oh, but he's not. He's going for Fen. I mean, I guess so. I guess. Uh... Oh, I think I Again, would've... there's no Concordia face-off because he's behind, so... I still think I would have gone for the... Hit crit. The gun runner. Uh, okay. I'll spend that focus token. Well, you've got to, to live. Yep. Okay, so, yeah. I keep forgetting, I'm so used to Fe um, Fen Rao just having all the ridiculousness at range 1 that when you're behind a fire spray, it's actually quite bad for... for um, Structural damage would be quite bad. Yeah, sure would. <laughs> um, Com commentator's curse. Okay. Oh, that's that's a cheap. Keep shooting, fan. You're you're all in. Shoot, fan. Yeah, shoot, fan. You're not at range one. There's no face off. There's no fan bonus. Fan is in the worst spot he would he could possibly be in. One hit. Oh god, it's all it's all coming down to this, isn't it? One of eight. So Fen lives. Yeah, but they're gonna get another round in. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Because the gun runner's got nothing. And Fen's got a structural damage. Oh, then now you've got to call where the bomb is going. How did the game go, Stuart? I think, yeah, you drop the bomb with the one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because the gunrunner's going to have to turn that way. Uh, no, the gunrunner can reverse, remember. Ah, uh, that is true. But, alright, so you drop the bomb. 
which stops the fangs coming after you. And then 4k. Or 4 forward, I suppose. Have they got? Yeah, they got. Four. I feel like 4 forward is best because the last thing you want is to be facing them. Yeah, then, yeah, 4 forward with a. with an action. Try and plink one damage through on the gun runner, gets you the win. Turn Seavor away. So there's time. E1 e and Seavor dial set, let's go. <laughs> E1 4K? No, you don't need to 4K with E1, just 4 straight. Although I guess, if you, especially because it's the last, last round, you just 4 straight. Don't risk facing them, get your action. Like, you have no need to actually be looking at them in this fire spray. Um, and then just shoot that bloomin' gun runner. I mean, I could see Fen like three banking straight behind Amon as well. Oh, that in itself is risky. Uh, if Fen dies and Amon is halved, does Ricky lose? No, half of Amon's worth more than. Okay. Fen, because the both the fire sprays are eighty plus. Amon's eighty three. Right. Okay. Fen's only seventy one. It's a real shame because a proton bomb now would be great. I mean, functionally, concussion bomb is about the same here. Because remember, if they don't want it to be a crit, they have to take a strain. And on uh, the fire sprays, like, okay, yeah, Fen dies if he takes another damage, but. Old T does not want to take a strain this turn. Because <laughs> if Fen dies to a bomb and Old T gets shot by a bunch of people, eee, going to be some painful times. Now, uh, yeah, but... Hmm. So do you four straight? I guess maybe maybe you could three bank with Emon. Uh, Seavor's coming in before Fen, so I guess you just... Where does Seavor go? Does he want to get a shot? That's the question. Did your gunrunners have a one heart? Do, 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 do. Let me have a look. They do have a one heart. One heart to the right and barrel roll down. Is he I feel like. No, he's not stressed. stressed is he? Yeah. That's, that's possibly not a bad shout there. Because if you get the block. All right, oh, here comes the, the concussion bomb. And he's dropping it at the one straight. Yeah, I think that's the right. Right, cool. There's a reverse for the Duke Draku gun runner. That might block the four. Yeah. But a three bank could look real nice now. Seavor says concussion bombs? What are they? No idea, mate. To be fair, it doesn't half to block him. Fen. Yeah, it doesn't half him. I was supposed to be I'm not sure that gets you out, but I think that gets him out? He should be alright. That clears his lot clears his shot against the Jakku gun runner. Oh, just a three straight, so Emon's bumped. But if Fen wanted to come after Emon, 
uh, there's a very fine line between landing in that concussion bomb and not. I. I mean, okay, all he bumps, but he's that's, that's okay. That's fine. He, you won't half him. He can take, take the strain. Take the strain. And then you boost. You got to boost. Yeah. Got to. Boost left and focus, and that should be okay. So now the disaster here. Actually, would no, know what Ulti really wants to do is just put one damage through onto Emon, and then hopefully just not get killed. And then hopefully the Jakku gun runner takes no damage from um, Thingy either. So you should deal a card and take a strain. No so rolls. Yeah, well, they're rolling. So, um, if you're Matt and you, and it's in range, do you take the range three on old Turok? Uh, yes. Because he'll have a strain. He's got no mods. Yeah, he'll have a strain. As opposed to if Fen's in, I'm assuming looking at that, it's two, maybe three obstructed. Yeah, and Fen has a focus. Yeah, exactly. You only you only need to do one on each of them. All right, cool. They got their uh, Terok's Ter got the strain. Yeah, Emon needs to halve T, and Sevor needs to get one three on the gun runner. Either or, to be fair. All right, ulti range three at Emon. Although half on this will make will mean both. There's two. Oh. And not enough. So half on Emon. So forty eight for the win. So it was a strain and a damage. Uh, Chris, it's a concussion bomb, so he takes it. So he takes a card, and then he either flips it or takes a strain. Uh, and considering he's about to get a sh get shot in the bum from E1, and all E1 needs to do is deal one damage. Yeah, it's not now. He needs to half ulti he, and he, half the gun runner. Yeah, but that's not that's one damage on each. That's not. Yeah, a, yeah. I'm not saying impossible. it's not impossible, but but I feel like the best shot here is you take that shot into T. He has no focus. Yeah. It's one damage for the points on either yeah. of them. And it doesn't matter which one, right? If no. de dealing one damage to ult, well, I guess, I guess, yeah, yeah, because I, I guess he's tempted by the structural damage on Fen, but Fen, like again, he needs to get one through. But Fen has a focus, so almost any like there's a pretty likely chance that Fen's getting paint. Oh, I should have maybe yeah, three on three or three on two with a focus. That's a there's there's a mathematical question for someone. Well, but when you roll all that, it was never going to matter. Yeah, three v three or three v two with a focus. There's a math question for someone. But it no longer matters. Well, they always say, don't they? Don't boost into range one. Take a mod when you're attacking. Yeah, I know that's slightly different. I mean, if he manages to kill, the gun that's true. Um, double crit would be right, well, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, except he won't. Might get half if uh, Ricky rolls bad. Oh, it's really come down. Yeah, well, there's half. Ay 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 ay. Ninety-two to a hundred and twenty-two. That's a good point. At the oh. moment. Oh, if the gun runner halves Seavor, this is just like. Yep, there we go. Chris be there with the math. Anyone who wants to know what the answer would be, there we go. And there we are. Yeah, and that is it. Seavor untouched throughout the entire game. Proving that he is the one and only ace.
Uh, so I'll have all your money, please, because my bet was a good one. Yeah, that's a good point. Let me pay out said bet. Said bets. Betting. Uh, do I need to open it and close it again? Yep, close betting. Pick winner left. Woo! I had faith. Uh, but that is the end of this game. Uh, I don't know if they're going to come into this channel for a little bit of a chat. Hello. Hello. They have arrived. Hi. So how was that then? Oh, stressful. It was a good <laughs> game. Good game. It was close. It was very close. We were we were working out what you needed at the end. Yeah, need, I knew. You, it was if Emon got halved, uh, you needed to kill old T and halve the Jakku Gunrunner to win. Yeah, it was doable at that point. Yeah, it could have been. Sorry, doable. half old T. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 half old T. Would would have been all right if some of them dices went through on old T at the end. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, no. That was an enjoyable game, to be fair. Yeah, it was. I'm frazzled. <laughs> My brain is absolutely scrambled. Oh, so many. Oh, I don't know. Like that two talent at the edge of the board there. Man, <laughs> oh. I did not mean to go that way. Yeah, it's we were. Like and the boost as well with Fen when I boosted yeah. away. Yeah, we, we saw that. that. I, saw, <laughs> I, I saw you ping. I was like, oh, he meant to click the other way. Yeah. But. but... <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's just, just dial fun, isn't it, really? Oh. All part of the fun. Yeah, I'm stressed. But yeah, it's good. It was nah. good. Yeah, decent game, that... right? Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, that's just, just the way it goes when it's tin yeah. on tin. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was very <laughs> sad to not see Gamut Key come into play. Oh, uh, do you know what? I, he died so quick, and I was going to. The idea is just to keep a focus on the fangs, but it, obviously if there's a tractor in range, I'll do it. But I think there's one chance I might have missed when I should have. Could have probably used him on like when he was tractored, but other than that, he just died. There's probably a chance to keep a focus on yourself at some point, but... Yeah, there may have been, yeah. And you've got to wait two turns to reuse it, so it's a bit of a gamble at that point. Well, there we go. Cool. What Thank was the... What was the scores in the end? I, uh, I haven't, don't even know. It I was... Oh, see, I've, I've changed the overlay. I believe it was 192 to 120. Uh, it was uh, Can't 122 to 92. Oh, so <laughs> 92 to 122. 92 to 122. <laughs> yeah, so it was literally it was real close then. Like five points in it, I think, in the last, yeah. last couple of rounds. Oh, all right. Well, uh, thanks, guys. Yeah, decent well, game. Watch a bit of the um, uh, stream. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thanks for coming on. It's much appreciated. No worries. No worries. Anytime, anytime, of course. Right, guys. Oh, we'll, we'll catch later, later on. Thanks, yeah, thanks, Matt. Thanks for the game. Yeah, cheers, Rick. See you soon at some point. Catch hopefully. you later. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Right, guys. Uh, we will be back in about five minutes with our second match of this evening. Uh, another tin, uh, not versus another tin, uh, and top of the ladder this time. So stay with us. Uh, we'll be right back. Yeah.